Just looking at Daisy Lartia, you wouldn't know the wife and mother of two has seen her fair share of tragedy. So kind of hard. Daisy breaks down at the near thought of her mother, Maria Antonia Escamilla, a woman who would spend her days volunteering at the Good Neighbor Settlement House in Brownsville. Working for the people who were homeless and she would feed them during the day. But at night, Maria, desperate to feed her own six children, took to the streets. She went ahead and had to work downtown as, you know, doing things selling her body, in other words. Maria was in her usual spot on Adams Street one September night in 1998 when shots rang out. Maria was hit and fell to the ground. She survived, but not for long. Daisy was only 11 at the time. We had to take her off life support. It was then that the course of her life dramatically changed. I ended up being in a foster home, me and my smallest sister. But Daisy was determined to make a good life for herself, and she has, but still can't get over the loss of her mother, especially since the murderer has not been caught. And you took away the most precious thing to us, the thing that we always would look up to, a person who, no matter what, always gave us love, and now we don't have that. And... I just want them to realize that what they did was wrong. The weapon used in the murder? A BB gun. Brownsville police say a tiny BB was fired from a passing car on Adams Street, struck Maria in the eye, and penetrated her brain. Daisy rarely visits the spot where Maria was shot, but did so to show whoever was fooling around with a BB gun that night that their actions left six kids without a mom, children who have grown up but still don't have peace. Even though, you know, she couldn't give us anything for Christmas, she was always there for us. And, you know, what mattered the most was that she did her best to take care of us and that she loved us. And that's what counted.